the notorious six panel Richardson 112 can be a pain in the butt if you don't have the right equipment, the right machine. One of the benefits of using the IQ 360 hat press is the fact that with this press you have the curved element that really curves to the shape of the inside of the hat. What that does is it prevents crease marks, like sharp crease marks up top, and it keeps this nice and flat to the platen. So in this case, the way I do Richardson's, you can fold these flaps out if you want. Uh, in this case, we're doing a DTF leatherette patch. So what we're gonna do is kind of sit this on the heat platen. Now in some cases people tell you to crank the living daylights out of the bottom heat and have this one at about 280, 290 and, and crank this one up to about the same. Now I don't do that and the reason why I don't do that is because I don't like creating separation issues with the buckram that's in the inside. When this is too hot it melts the glue here and releases this from that inside sometimes and then it creates a funky shape on the front of your hat. So you don't want this too hot, guys. So I usually keep this anywhere between 200 and 225. Uh, if I'm doing leather, I'll probably crank it up to about 275 and then have this at about 280, 285 for leather. At least the leather that we do, that's where the settings are. So what's nice is I'll let the hat kind of sit there for a bit, you know, while I'm maybe preparing stuff or, you know, peeling the adhesive off the back of the patch. I'll let this kind of just warm up and what you can do while this is warming up which I highly recommend just lay your silicone mat we sell these on our website essential print supply this is a creation of mine it also comes with the uh, bill protector that protects the bill it just keeps the hat from getting scorched in any area of the hat I kind of just set it on there just to keep it warm so while that's just kind of heating up we're gonna take our patch that we're using here and we're going to peel off the back. Now this is a DTF on leatherette patch, but what we're gonna do is first take the hat and we wanna do a pre-press on this, especially when you have the six panel uh, hats, any six panel hat or, or even five panel, but definitely six panel, you wanna do a preheat because what that's gonna do is it's gonna get that hat down. It's gonna make that hat nice and flat and it's gonna conform it to the actual shape of the platen to where there's no dead space when you, when you press on it. And we'll show you that in a minute. So usually with this silicone mat, I always double my dwell. So I typically would do seven seconds on a pre-press. So we make that 14 seconds. So at 14 seconds is like doing this at seven seconds without having the silicone mat. So this is nice and flat now. You wanna pull it down again, make sure it's nice and flat and you don't have any issues. Now I like to kind of just work it, get your hand down and make sure it's nice and flat. Now one thing you will notice about the Richardsons is that this inside seam right here especially, it's very, it's a lot thicker than your seams over here on these panel. It's way thicker. I'd almost say it's it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick, uh, so it definitely reveals itself when you're trying to put down, uh, you know, any type of emblem on these hats. So now that this has already been pre-warmed, we have 14 seconds on the preheat. We're going to take our patch, we're going to line it up. This is almost a two and three quarter inch patch, but you can see what we got going on here. So we've got that patch right there, ready to go. This patch here has a adhesive backing that has a little bit of tackiness to it, a little different than our leather patches. So now we're gonna take our mat here, we're gonna put that over the top, take our bill protector, we're gonna place that, and you see here that it's perfectly covered and perfectly protected. So you see that there, you got your protection here and your protection here for your bill. So now you're ready to press. And it's kind of nice because you know that you're not gonna damage your hat. Especially when these Richardson hats, I mean, they can be pretty pricey sometimes. You know, they can be anywhere from five to $8 a hat if 
you know, even at wholesale levels, depending on where you're buying it. So second hit, we're at 30 seconds with this mat. If you weren't using the mat and you're just going with your platen and risking scorching or burning your hat, you'd be at about 15 to 20 seconds for your leatherette patch. Pressure is about seven. So you wanna be upper sixes, lower sevens on your pressure. That way it's not squeezing the daylights out of the patch and squishing the glue out of the patch to where you're seeing a rim of glue around the patch when you're all done. You wanna find that just right uh, section and then when this hat is done, you just wanna put it aside and don't mess with it. Let, let the adhesive cure, let it do its thing. There we go, 30 seconds. This is all done. And you don't want to squish this hat so much that you know you're exposing any crazy elements so there is the patch right there on the hat ready to go we're going to go ahead and set this aside now you can look at your seams everything looks beautiful everything is nice and adhered down so by setting this aside for 24 hours you're letting that hat cure before you send them out to your clients. But that is the Richardson 112. In my experience, I prefer using the Richardson 112 uh, FP, I think is what they call it. You know, with patches like these, one benefit of a six panel is you could sometimes put the logo on the side over here within the panel if you're using these six panels. But if you guys are doing stuff with, especially if you're only using DTF and you're not putting any type of a second layer patch on that stick with just five panels you'll get a much cleaner and better result if a six panel has to be your your boat then go for it you know by all means that is how you handle the Richardson 112 six panel hat